In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the Curve Fit Fits Curves to Selected Vectors tool. You can find this under the Edit Objects part of the Design tab. Now, this function allows the user to fit an arc, Bezier curves, or straight lines to selected vectors, and the newly created vectors will be approximated based on a user-defined tolerance. Now, using this function can aid with smoothness for some toolpath options, and also to help simplify data for modeling purposes. So let's have a look at how that works. So you can see I've got my vector here in the 3D view. I've got it selected, so let's go to the Curve Fit tool over here, and let's have a look at the options. And you can see I've got different types of fitting. So you've got circular arcs, so this means the selected vectors will be approximated using arcs. And then you have a Bezier curves, which means the vectors will be approximated using Bezier curves. And finally, we have straight lines, which means the vectors will be approximated using straight lines. Now, to really highlight the difference here, I'm going to use the node editing mode on this vector so you can see how many nodes I've got. And you can see it's quite a lot of nodes right now. And for toolpathing purposes, this may be an issue because you may find that your toolpath, in this case, maybe lots of little small lines, which may make your toolpath longer to do. So where this tool comes in is it can actually reduce the amount of nodes, but also help you to make the vector or shape how you want it to and fit curves to these vectors. There's plenty of scenarios where you may use it. So let's have a look at the circular arcs first. So if I have replaced selected vectors on, I'm just going to replace the original vector, and you can see what it looks like. When I hit preview, you can see the amount of nodes have been reduced, but you can also see now that we've got circular arcs on some of these corners where it used to be sharp and a lot less nodes to work with. So it's really cleaned up that vector. Now you may be wondering what this tolerance field is. Now the tolerance is a value which is set in the tolerance to determine how closely the original vectors will be approximated. So the newly created arcs, Bezier Z lines, will be generated with a distance of the original vector, which is plus or minus a specified tolerance value. So the smaller the value, the closer to the original new, uh, the new data will be, but also means more data points will be used. So a larger tolerance means it won't be as accurate to the original, but will have less data points. Let's have a look at that. So you can see right now I've got a very, very low tolerance. So if I do Control Z and get our vector back to what it used to be, and we'll set a higher tolerance. I'll put a tolerance of one. Let's just see what happens. And I'll enter node editing mode, just to highlight what the vector looks like with the nodes on. And you can see how it's dramatically changed the shape of that. A lot more circular arcs, a lot less points, but you can see how it dramatically changes the shape. So let's have a look at another example with a low tolerance for the Bezier curves. So if I hit preview, you can see the original shape is retained effectively, but now you've got the option for Bezier's. So you've got these handles here to adjust and manipulate that shape that you can drag out on the 3D view as well. And again, I can show you what that looks like as a larger tolerance. And you can see how it's dramatically smoothed out that shape. And finally, let's have a look at the straight lines. Again, with a very small tolerance, reduced amount of nodes, but lots of straight lines with the sharp corners, and you also have this option here to keep sharp corners. Now, you can see with the max angle here, this will affect how your, you know, how your corners are sharp. So in this case, if you check this option, this option will make the curve fitting routine keep sharp corners, which will have a difference greater than the max angle's value specified. So any corners where the difference in angle is less than this value will be modified within the specified tolerance. And then, of course, you have this option here to replace the selected vectors. Now, if I turn that off, we can have a look at what happens. If I just Control Z and I keep the Bezier curves on, we'll get both vectors. So you can see they're actually overlapping. Whereas if I have the option to replace the selected vectors, it is replaced with that new approximation. And just to show an example of the keep sharp corners with the angle, so just as a reminder, the routine will keep sharp corners which have a difference greater than the max angle specified and any corners where the difference in angle is less than this value will be modified with a specific or specified tolerance. So you can see it's currently up 60 degrees. So let's have a look at what happens to the corners when we put in 30 degrees. So you can see where the sharp corners currently are. And you'll notice how the corners change dramatically depending on what that max angle is because I had some corners where the difference in angle was less than this value, 
and so it modified that with the specified tolerance. And with that, that concludes our video for the Curve Fit tool.